What's up guys, Ben back again with a brand new video. This is a follow up to the quilt build video where I made this. You should check that out first, it's super awesome. Um, basically this quilt weighs less than a pound for your sleeping setup and it compacts into the size of this large Nalgene bottle which I think is super awesome. This one's from Tack Blades, it says, man, roll the mesh and cut, brilliant, you just saved me a ton of time, cheers. Yes, that is a, such a good tactic to make these baffles. Um, and I didn't, th this is actually something that I learned from Joe Brewer's channel. Man, that guy is, he has tons of good information about quilts. I have a couple of his videos in my playlist that this video is also a part of. Yeah, he, he has so much knowledge about quilts. Definitely check out his video. But yes, that is a great tactic to do the long thin stretches of fabric for sure. All right, what's the total cost of materials? And this is something that I, I kind of went through the site and it looked like about like 140 and maybe 150 for the materials. And you can definitely do it a little cheaper if you don't use Phantom 20. Um, but you want to make sure that whatever fabric you do use is that it's downproof because if the weaves are too tight, then your down is going to poke through and that's going to be really annoying. So yeah, you can look more into that. I love the Phantom 20. It's been awesome so far. It's been great. Let's see here. All right, this one's from Skurricide. And it says, does the down stay put well? I'm wondering if it will end up migrating to the side edges. Also, what other options are there for material and pattern? Um, the down does stay put well, and that's because it's a very good quality down. It puffs up. As soon as you compress it, you can feel it. It kind of wants to fight back, and all of the little crevices want to fill up with air and just expand as much as they can. Um, the down... The down stays put fine, and that's definitely because um, I made sure that my baffles weren't too large, and I made sure that my baffles were totally just stuffed with down, and there wasn't any dead spots. And I think that's key. Okay, also, what other options are there for material and pattern? Um, like I said, for the material, uh, I think anything will work as long as it's downproof. Just look into that. Um, and what other options are there for pattern? Okay, so for the pattern, that's something based on my own dimensions. Um, I knew it was going to be tapered, so I just I decided to do half a pattern and then flip it on its central axis, so I have a symmetrical shape, and uh, and that just works for me. I have like wider shoulders, and then it gets narrower towards my feet, and so I wanted to just save some weight. If you want to go easy, you could just do a rectangle shape, um, but that all depends on your body dimensions, and that's the point of making your own stuff is you want it custom to your body your body dimensions. So. Maybe your shoulders are wider, maybe they're a little narrower, so you can get away with that. Um, and yeah, my taper it, my taper was kind of arbitrary. It was like 12 inches down from the shoulder, then the taper starts. And uh, it was mostly just for the few ounces of weight that I'd save. Um, so yeah, that's just an insight about that. The As far as patterns, it can be any shape you want, really. Nice, I appreciate your style, thanks. Thanks, yeah, this was a different way. I, I haven't shot videos like this before, and basically with every video, I, I try something new. Uh, because I want I want my production obviously to get better um, and, and you only know when you try things out. So I'm glad you guys like that. I liked it too um, How's the fabrics breathability? Okay, so I really like this fabric actually and I believe the uh, the tight weave really lends itself to being really soft and um, And it's comfortable for me Is there a reason you wouldn't want to sew perpendicular to the baffles? I asked because I went camping last week with a new quilt and all of the down had pulled to the sides I, of course, did not notice this until the next morning after I froze to death. Bummer. That's <laughs> not good. Okay, so let's, let's answer the first question. Um, the perpendicular lines to the baffles, um, those aren't necessary when I have the, the horizontal baffles because I have the baffles overstuffed and I have the baffles aren't too large where things are shifting much at all. Um, and I think that's really key is you, you want to have baffles that aren't too big and you want to make sure your baffles are full enough so things aren't shifting and you'll have dead spots in your quilt. Um, I think that actually could probably answer your other question where you have things pooling to the sides. Um, yeah, I went camping last week and the down had pooled to the sides. Yeah, so maybe that could be an issue with your loft. So maybe you A, didn't give it enough time to loft before you used it. Uh, B, there might not be enough down in the size of, in your baffles. Uh, or C, your baffles are too large I guess that's kind of like B and C, is you don't have enough filler for your baffle. And so that's where you have a problem. You want you want your down to 
take up the entire space of your baffle. That's the whole point. All right, this one's from Symphonian. Something, I'm sorry I wrecked that name. That's, I am way off on this one. Symphonian Barely Tone. Barely Tone. All right, very impressive, I should get so, thanks. Um, I've determined I'm, okay, I'm going to have to buy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy my underquilt someday. That's totally cool. Buying your gear is totally fine. Not against that at all. That is a great option. Making your own gear is an, only an option. Um, it's fun and I like to do it and you can have really custom stuff if you make your own gear, but there is nothing wrong with buying gear. That's totally fine. And uh, the real key here is once you once you know how cool down is, yeah, you'll you'll make that happen. You'll make you'll want to switch to down as soon as you try it out. All right, this one's from Richard Sykes. How would you make this into a wearable poncho quilt? Uh, I don't know why you would want to do that. The the fabric is water resistant, but I definitely would not wear this as my rain gear. Maybe maybe instead of like a rain poncho, he means like a like a jacket. I don't know. That could be kind of a cool idea. Yeah, I don't know, that'd be a cool idea if we could make that. Maybe if that will take place of your down jacket or something. But I don't know, I'm, I'm a fan of keeping my sleeping stuff separate and clean and not use wearing it out throughout the day. So yeah, I don't know. I'm maybe not exactly sure what you mean by that. And before I wrap up guys, I just wanted to give you some tips that'll make this project so much easier for you guys. Um, you definitely wanna take your time. Sewing is something that's completely foreign to most of us. It's I'm still new at it myself, and uh, you're not gonna be perfect, and you're not gonna be whipping these out in one day. Um, you wanna spread this out over multiple days, and you wanna take your time on each step. Uh, if you see like the actual speed of, my, of the footage of me going through each section, it's really slow. So you wanna get yourself just like your coffee, your tea, your beer, your whatever you wanna drink, and you wanna sip on that, and you wanna do a small portion of it at a time, and then, as you get more comfortable with your machine and your setup, you'll just be able to breeze through it. I hope you guys are all doing really well. Until next time, take it easy.